you've got a moving object, you've got a satellite in the sky and you want to hook the two up. And what's changed is some uh, various pieces of new technology, both on what's called the, the um, Earth station on a moving platform and actually up in the sky in terms of what's called spot, uh, spot satellite that allows us to get much, much faster connections between the two. Um, I, we always been told that there's an issue with safety when you're on a plane using your mobile phone and I can't imagine that uh, why suddenly it's changed that we can use our phones and use Wi-Fi on a plane. I think when you've got a bunch of people in a, in a flying tube of metal you're going to be extra extra cautious. There's never actually been proven to be a problem it's just that no one wanted to take the risk. I think that the theoretical risk of radio signals be they from mobile phones or from Wi-Fi causing problems on the plane has now been fundamentally disproven. It's been tested, we're sure it's safe and now we can go ahead and start getting all the amenities we're used to on the ground up in the sky as well. Although we should add that when the cabin crew ask you to switch off your electronic <laughs> devices, it's a good idea to do as they Still say. keep with the precautions for now. So is it, is, is it basically, is it, is it more complicated to get a constant signal on a train than on a plane because there's more stuff in the way? Well, you've got tunnels in the way for a start. I mean, at the moment, whether you're using your mobile phone or using the Wi-Fi on a train, it's patchy because it, as soon as you go into a tunnel, A, you use the mobile phone signal, which is what the train Wi-Fi is connected to, and B, you lose the satellite backup link as well. So absolutely, if you're up above the clouds, there's an awful lot less between you and the satellite. Um, but you've also got many more ways to connect on the ground. You've got uh, mobile base stations all around you, so you can connect to multiple networks works to try and share the load. So just to explain, if I'm on the train trying to work and it is frustrating because you know it drops out so often that signal, what is going to change that is going to make that smoother and more reliable? So when you're outside of the tunnel you're going to have a much much faster connection. So at the moment you've got a very uh, very uh, low bandwidth connection, if you like, a few megabits per second at best, shared between lots and lots of people. Now you're going to have tens of megabits per second, much, much faster connection coming down to the train. So when you're outside the tunnel, it'll be very, very snappy. Um, Unfortunately, you still have to change, pay for that. Is that a change in my mobile phone or is that a change in the technology? That's a change in the satellite technology. So instead of the train being connected to the mobile phone network, it's going to be connected to a satellite on a very high bandwidth link, beamed straight down to the train.